Welcome to this special edition of the Southside Scoop and Trojan TV News. I am Grace Atchison and this is the 2015 Broadcast Camp Newscast. What's up guys? I'm Thomas Weinger. Today we're going to show you some, some location reports done by our very own studio members. I am Clay Cronkleton reporting live from the Gulf Shores for the Southside Scoop. This, this story is not very fishy. Actually, the truth of this story is it's all about fish, particularly crabs. Uh, Sean is here at the Gulf Shores on a vacation. He is hunting crabs during the day, and one night when he was hunting crabs, his mom got snapped by a crab. That, that's all I have from the Gulf Shores. Back to you in the studio. I'm Tom Swanger, reporting live for Trojan TV News. It's a little fishy here in Duluth, Minnesota, but it's well worth the trip for a preview of what incoming Park Hill South freshman Trevor Hall will be experiencing in late July this year. Trevor will go fishing and undergo other common and possibly uncommon Minnesota pastimes. He will relax alongside family members in his extended cabin, complete with a private pool and a private pond. I think it's safe to say that he will have the time of his life. That's all I have from Duluth. Now back to you in the studio. Hi, I'm Trevor Hall reporting live with a South Side Scoop from the Caribbean. Ever experienced the luxury of a cruise before? Most of us middle class citizens have not experienced this unknown luxury this year or ever. Tonight we are going to tell you about how one lady experienced this unknown luxury that most of us do not know for the second time. In young June, Taylor Ferking was on an adventurous cruise near the Caribbean. She very much enjoyed this because of the warm weather that was brought with it. She is looking forward to time to relax and have fun. Most of us would count this as unfair but we all have our chances in life to do something amazing. That's all from the Caribbean. Back to you in the studio. I'm Aiden Denick, reporting from Puerto Rico for the Southside Scoop. I may be on land, but Gabe's underwater. Gabe is going on a cruise to Puerto Rico, and he will like the spa underwater space walk. It is like finding Nemo and meets gravity. And also, he will be doing swimming in the ocean. That's all I have from Puerto Rico. Back to you in the studio. I'm Grace Atchison reporting live from Destin, Florida for the South Side Scoop. If catching rare fish is your thing, this beach town in Florida is your place. Because his uncle is commander of the Marines, Thomas Weininger is here in Destin, Florida, which he said is one of the best trips of his life. Destin is home to amazing deep sea fishing and fun novelty shops. Whether you like relaxing on the beach or going on adventures, Destin has you covered. Good luck to Thomas. I hope he the fish are biting. That's all from Destin. Back to you in the studio. I'm Taylor Faking, and I'm reporting from Chosen T TV News. Have you guys ever seen that Canada has lots and lots of fish lately? Uh, I caught up with Aiden Dinig, a student who actually went to Canada and got to catch him and got to catch it and eat the fish. It seemed really cool and amazing that Aiden actually got to go to Canada and eat and eat the fish. He said he wants to go back to Canada again. Aiden said fishing is always good for you. Aiden has been fishing since he was little. Aiden said it ha it is fun to fish. Aiden also said his dad grew up on a fishing pond. Aiden loves to fi fi feed the fish. If Aiden could fish every day, he would do it. Now I'm back to you in the studio. I'm Gabriel Flynn here, reporting live from Seattle for the South Side Scoop. Do you love big cities? Well, you aren't alone. So does Grace Atchison. In fact, she just went to Seattle. Grace liked the trip so much that when we interviewed her, she said, I just really like big cities. Maybe one day she'll even go back again. I'm Gabriel Flynn. Have a good day, and back to you guys. I'm Sean Hall, reporting live from Lake of the Ozarks for the South Side Scoop. Here at Lake of the Ozarks, the wind is howling and the clouds are dark. Clay Cronkleton is here trying to enjoy his vacation. He likes to parasail because he is only strapped to the parachute and because it is his first time. 
He needs to leave soon or he'll get blown away. That's all I have from the Lake of the Ozarks. Back to you in the studio. Thanks to everyone for sharing about those amazing vacation spots. Now, let's take a look at the not as tropical weather from our area. Hi, this is Aiden Dinnick. This is your forecast for today. Now we're going to go to the radar. As you can see, all the rain is going from North Kansas City to Missouri. And that's stay indoors. It's going to be really hard to rain. So now we're going to go to our current conditions. As you can see, 63 is western Missouri, 65 is north Kansas City, and then 62 is um, Lee Summit. And that's our current conditions. Three-day forecast is... Wednesday, high of 66, low 56, cold. Thursday, actually going to be sunny, high of 77, and low of 65. Friday is going to feel like summer. It's going to be rainy, but still. High of 90 and low of 72. That was your forecast for today. Back to you, Rick. Hello, I am Clay Crongleton, and this is the weather today. Let's first look at the radar. Uh, there is rain coming from the south and going up north. And uh, the current condition is, uh, right now it is 65 degrees. Uh, and uh, down in Lee Summit, it is 62. Uh, the three-day forecast. Um, today, there is a high of 66 and a low of, 50, of 56. Uh, and that's a little bit, a little bit cold for a summer day. Uh, tomorrow, there is a high of 77 and a low of 65, uh, with a little bit of sun. Um, Friday, there is a high of 60 with a high of 90, with a low of 72, and it's going to be a little bit rainy. That's all the news for today. I'm Clay Cronkleton signing off. Back to you. Hi, I'm Grace, and let's take a look at the weather. First, let's start with the radar. Okay, so as you can see, there is some rain moving through Kansas City. Uh, the heavier rain is to the south. Now let's take a look at our current conditions. Okay, um, a chilly Del July day in Kansas City, it is currently 65 degrees, and in Lee Summit, it is currently 62. Let's take a look at the three-day forecast. Okay, so yeah, not such a beautiful day. Um, raining today, and the high is 66, and the low is 56. Tomorrow it'll start to warm up a little bit, with the high being 77 and the low being 65. And then Friday it's going to rain again. However, the temperature will rise to 90 degrees. Okay, that's all with the weather. Now let's take it back to the studio. Hi, I'm Taylor, and I'm doing the weather forecast for today. And 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 on one. Today, Wednesday, is supposed to be a high of 50, 66, a low 56. And on Thursday, it's supposed to be a high, it's supposed to get into the 70s and go into the 60s. Then on Friday, it's supposed to really warm up and get into the 90s and a low of 72. And now back to you in the studio. What's up guys, I'm Tom Swaniger. I'm gonna be bringing you your forecast today. Let's take a look at the radar. It's been pretty rainy this week, so unfortunately we're still gonna get more rain, but it does look like it'll be clearing up soon. Let's take a look at the current conditions. Downtown, nice 65 degrees, pretty even. Same with Lee Summit, 62. Over on the Kansas side, also 62. And then in North Kansas City, 63. Let's take a look at the three-day forecast. Looks like it's going to warm up all week, but it still is going to have a little bit of rain. So on Wednesday, high of 66, low of 56, and, a, and rainy. Then it warms up on Thursday with a high of 77 and a low of 65. Then on Friday with a high of 90 and a low of 72. Looks like it's going to be warming up this week. Back to you in the studio. At camp this year, we did some small packages about our camp counselors. Here's a little bit about harmonic prodigy Cole Ford. Sean looking and Ryan, for Flint have more. Looking for an underrated instrument? Look no further. Well, for me, it was always around when I was uh, when I was a kid. Um, I, uh, one of the first movies I ever saw was The Blues Brothers, and 
and that and that kind of got me hooked with every sing with every single song. But um, what got me was um, Dan Aykroyd playing harmonica. His first song along the road was. Oh gosh, I don't remember. Um, uh, Happy as I can be by Dave Riley and Bob Couture. Um, I, that was when I was starting to really listen to the blues. Unlike m most harmonica players, he uses a different technique. I use a pucker method, which is exactly like it sounds. Basically, it's like when you're a little kid and you're trying, and you're fake kissing uh, your crush or whatever. You're just like, mm, um, which is basically what a lot, a lot of players don't use. I use it because it, it tends to work for me more. Plus. Um, the lacquer on the harmonica doesn't rub off as easily if you do it. Sean Hall and Gabriel Flynn signing off for the South Side Scoop. Now it's time to see how basketball plays into Madison Flynn's life. Aiden Denig and Clay Cronkelson have more. Madison Flynn is a sophomore at Parker South. She loves the game of basketball. She she's an all-around basketball player. Um, I really play all of the different positions. My coaches kind of move me around a lot because they like to do anything. And I'm more of a defensive player, so for me, that's what it's about. Madison earns the right to win the Defensive Player of the Year award because she's been focusing on basketball and the defense. I like playing defense because I'm not a huge fan of shooting. No, not very much. But I love to play defense, and I won Defensive Player of the Year award last year. Maslowville would not know what to do with herself if she didn't play basketball. Um, I play it because it keeps me in shape, and if I didn't play it, then Lord knows what would happen. This is Aiden and Clay Crunkleton signing off from the Southside Scoop. Thanks, Aiden and Clay. Now we have a little bit about counselor Kyle Sims. Turns out Kyle is a star soccer player. Trevor Hall and I caught up with him out on the field. To Kyle Sims, soccer is much more than a sport. Her brother, he uh, played soccer for 10 years, and um, it's kind of a brotherly thing we did where I was, I was five years younger than my brother, so I always looked up to him. So that's what we kind of did together. It's a connection to his family, and in turn, a tie to a better place. My main cheerleader was my older brother. He played right after me on every game we did. So I, he would come see me play my games, and then I would go see him when his games were on. I think Teamwork and friendship were probably the, the main two. You had to rely on other people and that you just learn to do that because you have to do that in life. Signing off for Trevor Hall, Thomas Weininger, Trojan TV News. Thanks, Thomas. Taylor Frere King and I caught up with Hannah to hear how Baton has created some of her best memories and skills. The sport of baton twirling is rare to see but exciting to watch. Everyone who starts gets hooked in a different way. Um, I've been dancing since I was four, and at one of the dance recitals, I saw these girls using pom-poms, and so I wanted to use the pom-poms instead of the batons, so that's kind of, that's how I got into the class. Twirling is a very difficult sport that requires many skills in order to be performed. Because of it, I probably, uh, I've definitely gotten patience for the most part. I'm not a very patient person in the first place, but... Um, Hand-eye coordination is one of them. Um, having like endurance, I guess, probably. I don't know, you just gotta kind of have a lot of skills to start with, I guess. But you get used to all of the hard things about it. In twirling, there are many challenges that one faces. The hardest part is probably having the patience with it. Um, you gotta have a lot of like perseverance, and you gotta be patient with it. Cause some things will work, some things won't. It's just kind of a complicated sport, mm -hmm. but it's fun. For Hannah, winning isn't everything. She cares about more than medals, trophies, and titles. You know, winning is great in all, all the medals and trophies that I've won. The, but the, probably the highlight of my twirling career has been 
Um, I pretty much, I inspired someone to start twirling. Um, that girl's on my team now. Uh, she saw me twirling in the talent show and she wanted to do it uh, after she saw me and so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Hannah will carry the skills and memories from twirling with her for the rest of her life. Reporting for the Southside Scoop, this is Grace Atchison along with Taylor Frerking. Thanks Grace for that story. Broadcast camp was a blast and everyone learned a lot. To end the show, we leave you with images from the broadcast camp scavenger hunt early in the week. Have a great summer.